goodness. <laughs> wow, this feels weird. I have not, oh, move that to one side. I haven't filmed a video for a couple of weeks now. It must be, well, today is Christmas Eve and my last Vlogmas video goes out today. So you'll probably be seeing this like the second, the second week into, into January, back in January. Anyway, I'm unboxing this now because I've literally waited about two days to unbox this. It's been absolutely pouring here in the UK. There's been floods, it's been absolutely terrible. And there's not been enough light for me to unbox. It's now a really beautiful day, the perfect day that we could probably ask for for Christmas Eve. And Ali and I have just been organizing the house and getting everything ready for our different Christmas Eve this year. However, I did want to unbox this with you because this is obviously a bit of a moment. In this bag, I have something from Hermes. You would have seen that I unboxed my Christmas presents. All of the, the presents are still under the tree, as you can see, the little orange, oh, orange, I can't do it, orange bag there. My boots and my belt are very much still in there but I wanted to do this one as well. I don't know how I'm gonna hide this from you until the second week of January, but we're gonna see how we go with that. But obviously this is a purchase, especially with the boots as well. I think that I probably need to give this a little bit of context because I've never really jumped on the train of the, the Hermes hype. I bought the Aran sandals a few years ago and my feet, feet were actually too wide for them and I can't really wear them. I love them, but I can't wear them. But I never really like got on the, the hype for like the bags and things like that. I didn't like things that I could just, I couldn't just walk into store and buy. I'm very much someone that like, if I decide I want something, I kind of want to be able to go and get it there and then. And I also had heard the most terrible stories. Like it felt like a little bit of a club that you weren't allowed to be a part of unless you were like the popular girls or something like that. And I'm terrible at stuff like that. So I just, I just sort of gave it a wide berth. I thought the bags were beautiful, but I just, I didn't really ever think that I would own one because I didn't know the process. I found it all quite intimidating. Even from some of my videos recently, I was pronouncing Hermes wrong. I've always known how you pronounce Hermes, but I used to have a boss called Hermes. <laughs> and I've obviously got <laughs> got a few things mixed up in that. But anyway, people are quite touchy with things. And I've no, I don't know, I find it a little bit intimidating and worrying. And I honestly feel like it's a club that I'm not allowed to be a part of. However, in the summer, I started following, and you might already know because I've mentioned her quite a lot, I started following Melissa's wardrobe and she has just given me a new kind of vision and perspective on the brand and I've spoken to her a lot about things that she's bought and she just really made the brand something that I felt was, I don't know, more accessible she like laughed and joked about when she didn't get a bag and things like that and it was just it was really lovely and it kind of gave it a different spin for me anyway i was on the hunt for some riding boots and you would have seen that i picked up the prada riding boots and when i was googling riding boots the hermes jumping boots showed up and that was what i knew the moment that i saw them i was like that's what i want for christmas i'm usually someone that i don't really know what i want for christmas but this year i was like no no i know exactly what i want so anyway you would have seen we went down to london and you would have watched me unbox them on christmas day when i was down there i got to look at a lot of the bags and the guy that was helping me was amazing and he really made me feel comfortable he was very matter of fact so even when i like asked him about the the process of bags he was kind of like, it wasn't like he was talking down to me. He was just kind of like, they just don't let people walk in and buy a bag. Like you have to have a wish list and blah, 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 and explained the whole process. And so we sat down and we made a wish list of bags and it's very, very small. I don't know if I'll ever be one of those people that collects lots and lots of bags because as you know, I'm someone that generally sticks to a more neutral color palette with my handbags. And so I could probably safely say that if I had like one or two neutral bags, I'd be really happy with that. Maybe a small one, who knows? And we made a little wish list together and I went away. And my wish list is a 25 or a 28 black Kelly with palladium hardware to match my boots. That was what was on my wish list. And I'd never really considered a Birkin in any way, shape or form. However. <laughs> The moment that I put on my stories that I was in Hermes, 
a lot of you guys started messaging me and a couple of people I've like spoken to quite a lot and one of them is someone that is just the lovely one of the loveliest people that I speak to on the internet and she owns a shop that I go to and she started showing me her Hermes collection this isn't something that she like shows anyone she's not a blogger or an influencer or anything like that but she started showing me her collection and she showed me this one particular bag and she was like this bag is like one of the rarest bags because you never really get to buy it in store because it usually is only made for custom orders so it rarely ever makes it down to store it's a piece of Hermes heritage it's got like a real story behind it and she showed it to me and I was like oh my goodness sorry Lumi's just walked in I was like that's probably my favorite one of your bags and it was a it was a Birkin 30. I was like it's absolutely stunning it had like contrast stitching and it was just a really beautiful neutral. Anyway I was thinking to myself should I message my salesperson and let him know that I actually would consider a Birkin as well and maybe add a couple more neutrals to my wish list and then this showed up on my feed and I actually ended up purchasing this bag via a consignment store called Cellier. And I think you might have heard me speak about them before because I just find them fascinating to follow. They're probably my favorite consignment store to follow online because the girls try everything on and it's really fast paced and like, it's like fastest finger first. And like you, you go to buy something and then it's already gone and you're like, oh my God. Anyway, they mentioned that they were uploading a bag very similar to the one that the lady I'd been speaking to had. I messaged them and they were instantly like, oh yeah, well, let's send you some pictures. And I was like, I want it. I absolutely want it. And I had a voucher for Cellier because after I shared them on my feed, they obviously didn't know about me in any way, shape or form, but I shared them on my feed and I think they gained about 10,000 followers from it. They gave me a gift voucher, which was obviously wonderful, but I'd been sitting on that gift voucher for months. And when this bag came in, I was like, it's meant to be. It was brand new with the receipts and I really kind of, I trust what they do because they often share when they've been brought uh, fake handbags and they, they share the process and I find that quite reassuring. Also a lot of the people that I spoke to in that had messaged me about like Hermes and showed me their collections and stuff like that, they had all recommended Cellier as well and said that they were a consignment store that a lot of them had used or would use, etc, etc. So anyway, it showed up on my feed. I feel like I never know whether I should tell the story first or after I unbox the bag. So you can let me know in the comments if you prefer the story before or after. It's been a while since I've done a proper like sit down unboxing like this. It was really funny. I was trying to pay for the bag and I was like... <laughs> and like payments weren't going through and I was just having a nightmare with it but the, the people at Cellier were really, really helpful and they got me the bag the next day. <sighs> and then the heavens opened and I wasn't able to unbox it and they were all messaging me like, have you unboxed it? Have you unboxed it? I bet if I open my phone now, there will be so many messages like, show us the bag. <laughs> so this is a bag that would have been on my wish list, and I'm glad that I've done it this way because I feel like I'm in a better position and I would have spoken about my experience with Hermes in the previous video where I've um, opened all my Christmas presents with you, but I've got a bag now. So I know that it's quite likely that if I do ever go in there again and they have a bag for me, if it's not the bag that I want, I'm not gonna just buy it because I've got a bag, I'm fine. Like, and I'm absolutely fine with just ever having one bag. If I manage to get the Black Kelly with Palladium hardware, amazing. But I've got my bag, so I'm okay. I'm not still sat twiddling my thumbs and, and waiting for it. So I feel actually I'm in a better position. Those ways that you justify things. So anyway, <laughs> I, and I love the fact that I still get to do the whole unboxing experience with it. Like it's not just, you know, I get sent the bag. It's the full works in the box with the bag, the whole shebang. And I'm very, very excited. So. I can show you the bag and then I can talk you through a little bit about the history of the bag as well. Because I've had lots of people who really kind of piqued my interest when I told them that what I've got. I'm definitely going to keep this ribbon as well because it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that the doorbell has just gone. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold on. <laughs> the anticipation! <laughs> I'm so close. 
So this is the receipt and I was really adamant that I would never ever buy a bag from a consignment if it didn't come with the receipt and all of the checks in place as well. And it has the name and the, the type of bag on there. Okay, I'm gonna put the box down. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. So I'm probably, I'll probably have all of like the members of the, the Hermes bag club telling me I'm doing this wrong, but okay. Oh, and the perfect size. Okay, so this is a 30. I'm gonna get this right. I feel like I'm being tested now. Eight, wait, it says it on the receipt. <laughs> this is a 30 Berenia Faubourg Birkin in the shade Fov. I think, or Fauv, Fauv or Fauv. So this leather is the leather that Hermes sandals are made from so it's really durable and this is obviously a piece of Hermes heritage so they say about this particular bag that they that you should use it and not be precious about it however I don't know how well I'm gonna do at that but I have ordered some handle protectors that were recommended to me by um, a lady that I follow on Instagram world of Casa Harris she's a lady that has a very incredible Hermes collection and she showed me these handle protectors so I bought those because the bag is known to get a patina which I didn't know what that was <laughs> so I've learned about that and it will just protect the darkening of the handles here so I've ordered those and they should arrive obviously it's in the gold hardware as well I don't even know what is in this little tie bag down here oh we have the little lock which still has the plastic on it, which is fabulous. So this is what the ladies at Cellier told me about the bag. The Faubourg Berenia bag in color fauv has a tone on tone stamp and contrast white stitch, which make it unique to standard Togo Birkins. The Faubourg Berenia leather is also produced by a handful of artisans as it's a very complex and specific dyeing process. So there are fewer bags in this leather and there is a very small production run. The Berenia leather has also much more nuance in the color. Normal Togo bags are very flat. They don't reflect the light, almost dull. Berenia Faubourg is much richer and the color is more complex. It also has the most amazing smell. So I believe that there was another style of Berenia which was smoother. This now has a smaller kind of grain to it. I'm not sure if you can see it on the bag there, but there's, yeah, there you go. There's a slight grain to it. So this really was like the bag. It was so amazing that I'd seen it in my friend's collection and then found the exact same extremely rare bag. So I am incredibly excited to wear this. And I also think it's gonna look really nice alongside my Prada riding boots. So I can't, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe that I'm undoing this on my Hermes bag. So exciting. Now I've been told to store it with the felt, but I can imagine that I'm only ever going to wear this bag forever and a day. I probably should have watched some Hermes unboxings on how to do this properly, shouldn't I? One of the most distinct features of the Berenia leather is the way that it smells. This honestly smells like a really beautiful like horse tack shop and you can smell it the moment that you you get it out of the bag. It's almost like the smell of a new car if that makes sense but it's honestly absolutely incredible and I think this is the perfect size. Um, it means that I can fit my diaries inside, it means that I can fit all of the little bits and bobs that I need. I've Obviously got the handle protectors coming. I've also purchased an uh, like a bag organizer as well to protect the bottom because I don't want to ruin this bag, basically, because I've never spent so much money on a bag in my life. And um, yes. Anyway, I would love to know what you think of this bag in the comments down below. I am very, very, very excited about it. And it means that I'm kind of like satisfied in the way that I shop because I hate wanting something and not being able to have it. And now that I've like got my bag and I'm happy with my bag, I'm now gonna be happy waiting for the absolute like perfect bag because this one was perfect for like my more brown tone bags. And then when I get my black one, then I've got all of my bases covered, but I'm totally happy to like wait for that bag for when the time is right, when I'm supposed to have it, just like I was supposed to have this one. <sighs> well, I am just 
over the moon with this. I'm just going to sit here and look at it now. And I can't believe that I haven't even got my boots open yet as well. But I'm a very, very happy camper. Um, I would love to know if you have any Hermes bags as well. Let me know in the comments down below because I absolutely love seeing your collections because I couldn't believe how many of you contacted me to show me your collections when we went down to Hermes during Vlogmas. So please do. And hopefully you will see this bag knocking around on my Instagram and in my vlogs very, very soon. I'll link everything in the description box down below. I'll also link Cellier and um, Cellier, Cellier, Cellier. Cellier. probably been saying that wrong as well people are probably going oh <laughs> but yeah so I thought I would show you it and um, also let me know how you prefer your unboxings to to be because I haven't really been doing these more focused unboxings and I'm hoping that maybe I'll do some more in 2021 so if you've got formats that you really like then please do let me know in the comments down below but I'm going to sit and admire this baby for a little bit longer as always, if you are new around here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I upload videos on a Monday and on a Thursday. Is that the day that I upload? Yes, on a Monday and a Thursday at 5 p.m. UK time. And um, I cover all kinds of different things like fashion, beauty, lifestyle, a lot of home stuff as well. So if you did want to hit the subscribe button, I would love to have you here for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.